Welcome back. I hope that you are in good health. Herbal Remedies from Within the Indigenous Cultures of Peru Peru remains a unique land filled with indigenous knowledge and fantastic natural beauty. Its diversity of landscapes and ecosystems means a vast plethora of plant species that are native to Peru. And it is for just this reason that the Peruvian people have such an impressive array of natural cures for anything from rheumatism to liver disease. A 2010 study published in the Journal of Ethnobiology and Ethnomedicine uncovered a whopping 974 herbal preparations within the indigenous cultures of Peru, while another study found that 510 different plant species are used in natural Peruvian cures in the northern part of the country alone. Researchers theorized that these herbal cures dated as far back as the Moche period, beginning about 2,000 years ago. A 2011 investigation found that 96 species of plants in northern Peru were being used as anti-infective herbal remedies at the time of publication. Considering that's just in the northern part of the country, it's fair to say that there's plenty more where that came from. Lantan is a plant native to Peru and other parts of northern South America. Lantan is used as a cure for urinary tract infections, tuberculosis, hepatitis, asthma, bronchitis, and a whole lot more. Research shows that both the whole fresh plant and the roots of lantan are used in traditional Peruvian cures and can be applied as a poultice or salve for the cleansing of wounds to prevent infection. Mole, Shinus mole or Peruvian pepper is an evergreen tree that grows to a height of around 50 feet or 15 meters. Found in the arid Andean regions of Peru, the tree produces bright pink fruits that are often sold as pink peppercorns, although there is no actual relation to real pepper. According to scientific sources, mole is something of a jack-of-all-trades in the remedy arena and is traditionally used for vaginal infections, bronchitis, coughs, colds, chills, inflammation, cancer, tuberculosis, and more. If just half of these claims are true, it seems this small evergreen would give an adaptogen a run for its money. Peperomia gladioides is a slender ground-covering plant native to Amazonian Peru and other tropical regions of South and Central America. As with many such hardy plants of South America, the leaves and stems of Peperomia are loaded with active compounds that have been utilized by indigenous Peruvians for centuries. A 2004 study examined the medicinal potential of organic and water-soluble extracts of peperomia. Researchers found that high levels of both grifolin and grifolic acid in the stem and leaves were responsible for the plant's effective inhibition of infection, especially against staph infection. Another study showed that this Peruvian plant could also exhibit strong antibacterial activity over leishmaniasis, a parasitic disease affecting over 12 million people worldwide. Perezia pungens, a plant known as lingua de vaca to the native Peruvians. The fresh leaves of this plant have long been used as a way to cleanse surface wounds and prevent infection. Conveniently, the leaves can also be crushed up to form a poultice that reportedly prevents the peeling of skin after a sunburn. Achiote. This shrub is one of the more famous of the natural Peruvian cures. It's sometimes called the lipstick tree and is best known as the source of anato, a natural orangey-red condiment. But beyond its culinary uses, achiote is also used to treat a number of common ailments. These include urinary tract infections, kidney inflammation, enlarged prostate, bronchitis, and hemorrhages. Chamomile, otherwise known as manzanilla, while not native to Peru, traditional Peruvian cures using tinctures of the fresh whole plant are numerous. Chamomile is used for treating wound infections, vaginal cleansing, and blood purification. This is one Peruvian cure that everyone may have sitting around at home, so just steep a strong brew of pure chamomile tea. While many of these Peruvian cures have been used for thousands of years, not all of them are necessarily safe or effective. Before using any of them, do your research. 
and if in doubt, ask your doctor. But chances are they won't have heard of it. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.